Are there any corals in your shop that you won't sell? Everything is basically sold. Here. So has anyone ever seen this before? No. Guys, this has got to be the craziest euphelia tree garden I've ever seen. Today, we are gonna be visiting the top saltwater coral shops here in Singapore. And we're back with Kenneth, who just recently gave us a tour of the Singapore Aquarium. Today, Kenneth is gonna be showing us some of these hidden spots. So today, I'll be bringing you, George, to a couple of different places where you guys will be seeing very insane corals, insane fishes, there's a lot of colors. So our first stop is Reefing Reality. But real quick, before we head inside, I wanna tell you about today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. This might be the world's most addictive RPG game. I was like, all right, let's check this out. I'm not really into this. I don't play mobile games, but it's actually been a really fun way to pass my time traveling in airports, hotel rooms, or in the back of a bus on the way to an aquarium. The best part is that this fantasy game is free to play on your iPhone, Android, or desktop. It's actually a lot like collecting corals. Basically in this game, there's hundreds of characters that you can collect, upgrade, and compete against each other with. We're gonna go into the summoning portal and open up a few ancient shards. Okay, so this guy, his name is Honor Guard. Looks like he has some good defense skills, but uh, his mustache is just not as good as my dad, so I'm gonna have to pass on him. Let's open another one. Okay, who's this? Mistress of Hymns. Looks like she has some good healing powers and attack skills. I do like an aggressive woman. She's a keeper. Let's try to open a sacred shard. Now this guy is a beast. This is a miscreated monster. What I'm gonna do is in the tavern, use my weaker characters to upgrade this guy and make my favorite champion even more powerful. And now you can compete in the all new arena tournament to win awesome rewards and rare artifacts. So go to the link down in my description if you wanna play Raid Shadow Legends. And if you're a new player, you're gonna get 100,000 silver, one energy refill, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, the Slasher. New players will be able to get their rewards in the inbox right here, but be quick because these rewards are only available for the next 30 days. John. This is one of the owners yes. here Hello. in reality. Nice you. So he runs this place here where they specialize a lot in corals. So has anyone ever seen this before? No. Guys, this has got to be the craziest euphelia tree garden I've ever seen. Basically, it's a full LPS tank. The top tanks are all mainly Euphelia and Cora and uh, Euphelia Para and Cora. I think there's about 15 to 20 types of Ancora here. We have some Scolimia. The tank is about nine months old. Difficult to obtain the some of the pieces inside the tank actually. What's the most rare coral you have in that tank? I would say this uh, master grade scolding here. The little baby one? Uh, yeah, the little baby. That little baby scully right there. How much is that piece worth? Probably about 3000 That little baby scully right there is worth $3,000? Yeah. Is that its cousin right to the right of it? Uh, that's uh, reverse being at home. Oh. This piece, this tree is going to look so cool once it finishes growing out. Okay, what about some of these mushrooms down here? The orange one is a sun piece, bounce mushroom. Uh huh. And the blue one should be a berserker bounce, if I'm not wrong. How much do some of these sell for? Two to three hundred dollars. Wow. How um, long did it take to make this? Six months. Six months. Only? <laughs> Only, yes. That's not bad. This is going <laughs> to be insane in like another year or two. Yeah. Like, what's going on on this tank down here? That's a ball of uh, Cheeto that we just mainly use the wave maker to have it tumble or roll over. And that's the only filtration you have on this tank? And I'm a mechanical sponge, which is just one piece. Yeah. Wow. What a perfect, massive ball of Kato. <laughs> it's literally perfect. <laughs> He's like, why are you impressed by this? You should be impressed by this. So this is a display tank, SPS tank. Uh -huh. We just set up about three months ago. So basically these are all pretty much brand new cons. You're going to make this thing massive? Yeah. SPS tank. Yeah. So the next time I come back to Singapore, guys, this tank is going to be filled with SPS. Clearly you guys are really into the coral. Yes. Where do you guys get all your coral from? Australia mainly. Mainly Australia? Mainly Australia. Not Indonesia? Not Indonesia. Why not? Because we are just applied for scientists as we are speaking. 
So the Indonesian coral ban has also affected you. You can't get coral from there either. Yes, right. That's amazing. You could probably see Indonesia from here <laughs> and you can't get their coral. Yeah. Once in a while, we do get softies from Caribbean. What are we looking at? It's a Casper tang. Casper the white tang. It's his brother right there. So these tangs are kind of known to change color. We'll see, he's still got a little bit of yellow up there. For anyone that has seen Casper the white tang, this is his long lost brother. Another reefer. Had him for nine years. Yes. And then he just decided one day he didn't want him anymore? Yeah, he had to decom due to financial issues. And he sold them? Yeah, he sold you. them. Yeah. Got it. And is he for sale now? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they contact me at the first place? I know. <laughs> it will be at my house right now. <laughs> Why didn't I get that phone call? Are there any corals in your shop that you won't sell? Everything is basically sold. And sadly, the nicer pieces are usually not mine to begin with. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm just keeping them for my customers to collect. What are some of the other really rare pieces over here? Uh, Bleeding apple pawanki. Is that the green and the red one? Yes, the green and the red one. Wow, that's an insane coral. Because it's quite tough to get such a large specimen. And the coloration is great as well. Guys, it literally looks like candy in here. Look at all these unreal corals. Oh, whoa, look at these. He's got a scully garden. What are some of the rare scullies you have? This little pink yeah, one? It is. It's so pretty. What is that one called? It's a master grade scolimia. What does that go for? Mm, about 2000 as well. $2,000 for yeah. that one. Those have to be the coolest mushrooms I think I've ever seen. These are jawbreaker mushrooms. Yeah, they have to Are those yours or are those someone else's? Uh, all customers. Why do your customers leave their coral with you? Why don't they just keep them in their own tank? Probably because they are changing their tank. They need back the same space as uh, Singapore is still a very small country. So they need to remove everything and uh, just keep it for them for the time being. Literally come to the other side and what do we got over here? What's going on down here? There are three trachophilias here. These are from Australia. The rest will be all your scenerinas. So down here, what do we have? We have three rainbow fungi, uh, rainbow plates. Guys, look at these play corals. These are amazing. I don't think, I've never seen one like that pink before. What's going on over here? So basically, this tree right here uh -huh. is another customer's uh, collection. It's uh, doing a massive rescape. Whoa, look at this Recordia rock. John, what's going on on this rock? Recordia Florida. It's a mixture of different kind of colors. We have from orange, pink, green. Yo, like this video if you think this is crazy. Uh, basically, I use mainly LED for all my tanks because I feel that is the next best light Thing right now compared to the T5 and Meta Halide as they are more cost efficient due to they do not take so much electricity. For flow, we mainly have very high turnover rate so that we ensure that all the detritus and nutrients get exported properly. We mainly run AI and Radions. Uh, we run them for like eight hours every day and for the LPS tank, we mainly only have blues turned on because we don't want to cook the corals and for the SPS, we have 30% white. Uh, we have been keeping aquariums for 15 to 17 years. Wow, and then you opened this shop when? Uh, four years ago. How are you doing? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Yeah, I quite like it. <laughs> cool. Is this what you do full time? Yes, this is what I do full time. Awesome. Well, thank you, dude. It. <laughs> Our final stop. Where are we? You were right. Some of these places we definitely would not have found if it weren't for you. Not even barely. <laughs> God. All the tall Americans. Oh, wow. oh, okay, cool. Supreme Corals. That's right. Hello. How are you? What's your name? I am Patrick. Patrick? Yes. Okay, Stay nice true. to meet you, Patrick. So clearly, Patrick has made his way around the United States. He is yet to come to Aquashell, though. He's got to come. Uh, is this our show tank? This is the show tank. Yeah, correct. So behind will be where we put our fracks. Tell me about this tank. Okay, so for this tank, we actually four sided. For the front, we it's meant for display. We got a torch garden right there. Patrick says the most rare one is the gold torch. What do they call those here? Yellow torch. The yellow torch. Yes. So they're a bit colorblind here, but that's okay. They still got nice corals. Over here, they got a hammer garden. Wow, you guys actually have a garden for like everything. You got, <laughs> now that I think about it, you got an open brain garden. Oh, a little Ghani garden. 
The tang is photo bombing. Wow, this is gonna look insane when it when it's all grown in. That is like every variation of Ghani right there. Which one of these is the most rare? It's the yellow one in the back. The yellow one in the back. In the back left or the middle? Green. Yeah, that would be green. You guys, I think, I don't know if all of Singapore's got their <laughs> colors wrong or if it's just you, Patrick. Okay, so right here, if you've ever seen those aquarium decorations in Petco, like the little cheesy green anemones, that's what this coral looks like. It looks like it should be fake. How much is that worth? So it's not for sale. Why does this man even own a coral shop if he's not gonna sell me any of it? What is this? Tricolor hammer. Yeah, correct. Three colors, the whole thing. You're saying green, yellow, and what, blue? Yeah. So that's a rare piece right there. Correct. All right, Patrick, show us what you've got, man. So over here is where we keep our softies. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is so cool. Look at these plates. This one is insane. How much is this one? It's not for sale? Yeah. Patrick, let me tell you something. When we're talking about coral, it's always for sale. What's the price on that? So over here, you can see is the OG bounce. Oh. Yeah. So this is biohazard. Oh, the little guy. The little guy's biohazard. So this is sun kiss. Where'd you guys, where'd you get these from? We imported it from overseas. In the past, we imported it from Hindu before the ban. But now the ban has lifted, so we expect to see more come in. So OG bounce, all this, is where we get it from the state as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Are any of these mushrooms for sale? Yep. Do they have price tags? Over here, they see these two OG bounce. Yeah. It's going for 1.2k over here. $1,000 yeah. for those little baby bounces. Look at that little guy. That's a little baby. That's a true baby bounce. What's the most expensive coral you have here in the shop? In the shop right now? Yeah. Uh, I would say it's the OG bounce. The OG bounce. Is it just you here, Patrick? We actually take turns, so for me, I will take one of the days. So the rest of the days will be my partners who are coming in to take care of the shops. How long have you been keeping coral? Close to seven years. Seven years? Yeah. How long has this shop been open? One year. One year? Yeah. Only this, this whole place is only one year old? Yeah, correct. Is this what you do full time now? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, exactly. That's how it always ends up. You're not married yet, right? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, then you're good to clear. You're good. <laughs> Still single though. Yeah, so yeah. Any of the friends you have recommend, yeah, that is one guy. If anybody wants <laughs> to marry someone and have their bank account hit rock bottom, this is your guy. <laughs> if we get him a girlfriend, right, we get ourselves each an OG bounce. That's true. Sure. With all this coral being here, the show that Patrick definitely needs to attend is Aquashella. This is the last one I have. Boom. Uh, right next to it, we're going to throw a call for Shoji. Oh, you wrinkled it, dude. No. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. All three of these guys, we got to get you to Aquashella. Yes. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video tour of all the best corals here in Singapore. Massive thank you to Ken for helping take us to all these amazing hidden spots. After this, I got nothing left to say, but I'll see you in Aquashella, Dallas. Yes, we will be back. See you. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George. This man is getting his tickets to Aquashella right now. Buy tickets. <laughs> Buy tickets.